Holy shit balls, dude, this friggin' bear, what are you doing, homie? Yo, I don't know who's more scared, me or the bear? Nope, definitely the bear. Yo, what's going on, people? Riot here playing Hunter Call of the Wild, checking out this new DLC I just installed. I believe it was like five bucks or something like that. Feels pretty worth it. Because this game, even though it's an epic hunting experience, I actually shamefully haven't played it nearly as much as I should have, or really at all. I just don't really have any friends who play it, and the thought of like venturing miles across the landscape to kill stuff exhausts me. Because even going downstairs exhausts me. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, that's like the whole hunting experience, so I'm not knocking it or anything. It's just not 100% for me. And that's, that's also why I don't have any better weapons for this video, but hopefully with this new DLC, I'll just be able to get my lazy ass across the landscape much better. And then I'll get much more better items, so we're gonna go in the garage, it's right here, the Saber! We have the Jade, Crimson, and Charcoal. All of which are sexy as hell, the Saber 4x4 combines a stunning ability to transverse rough terrain with unmatched comfort and style. Enter the heated seat and experience the off-road rush as it takes you across fields, bogs, and hills at consistent speeds. I just heard a demon. Um, that's weird. The heat, the seat is heated? Heated seats? That shit sounds like glamping more than camping. I don't think, I don't need my bum to be warmed. Alright, then right down here, request. That seems a little overkill. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know, man. Traveling across the terrain, I feel like my balls will get sweaty enough without a heater located firmly beneath them. See, it looks pretty gorgeous. The graphics in this game are actually phenomenal. Let's get a good look at that fine paint job right there. It's actually a pretty shitty paint job. What's going on there? Maybe it's just already dirty? Yeah, it's definitely already dirty. It's just, it's been pre-ridden. It's not a brand new pristine, freshly unwrapped ATV. That's just not how this would work. And we're off. Holy shizen. All right, easy, navigate gently. I just bounced off like a, a generally not big twig, which actually is like not the most hope inspiring thing ever. Dude, we're, okay, watch out, watch out for the sticks. Jesus Christ, these like twigs are knocking us off our course completely. And we're off. This is what it's all about, baby. Covering a much greater landscape at much greater speeds. Hang on, where's that bridge? That okay, come on. Can we do donuts in it? It would appear. <laughs> it would appear it's actually better donuts than travel. This is one slippery son of a bitch. Look at this thing. It's like when you get a flat tire in Grand Theft Auto. That's the vibe I'm getting. I just guess I just got to keep it on 100% steady course forward. No, this thing bounces around. Even just by pressing forward, you change direction so much, every little hill you touch just not Look at that! I'm just pressing straight and we just spun out right there on this little flatland. Jesus! Dude, this shit is like driving on ice. What is going on right now? Okay, just, just hang on, hang on. Let it restart. Let it just go back over. Alright, everything's cool. We're all cool here. Everything's fine. I'm just, maybe I'm just driving a little stupid. That has to do what's going on here. I love the freaking imprint it leaves behind. Obviously, grass like folds behind your character as you travel this game. But it's a much bigger freaking god damn it! Come on! I do like how there's no gas take on this thing. Like you just pretty much ride infinitely, which you know a whole lot of lack of responsibility. It is loud as hell though. You see, it's making the most possible noise. Yeah, this sounds freaking brake squeak. Brake squeaking, I feel like would be heard farther away than even the engine, right? Cause it's like a higher pitch. Oh Jesus! Oh my god, at least you didn't flip right there. And then it, oh, there's the bridge up ahead. That's where I wanted to go. That's that's my bridge, dog. That's. That's that place I went that- oh my- for the love of fuck! Hey, I'll just let this thing reset and now- now it's just- keep, for- for the love of Christ, alright. <laughs> this ATV is giving me some issues. Real quick, reading up on the DLC, it said that basically this national park or wherever we're located right now- Does it say on the map? Which- okay, the- the- what? what the Balment? Balment? I, I don't know where that is. Whatever hunting reserve we're on right now. The council decided ATVs would be allowed just for the sole purpose of transportation. So it's not like you're going to be racking up any... It can't hold anything, can't hold ammo guns, unfortunately. Can't have bodies strapped to the back of it. It's basically just to get your ass from A to B, which is cool, I get it. I mean, it's supposed to stay like a realistic hunting experience. This isn't like, you know, just go out there and go to war with animals or anything. Just based off how freaking... I mean, I've been driving for like five minutes, haven't even seen an animal, but I don't think I'm gonna as long as I'm on this ATV. I mean, in real life, you probably would, but in this game, it's like, they're... These, these are some skittish-ass animals. I feel like in reality, you could be speeding a car, you driving a car, it's 80 miles an hour down the road, deer will jump right in front of your ass. Like, <laughs> to an extent, they don't understand those noises, but oh, for the love of all that is holy. You see this right now? This is me trying to drive straight. You know what, even without those, like, temporarily... Oh my god, come on, you can do this through the marsh, buddy. Look at... What the fuck? What happened? 
Are you Captain Crunch right now? You can't be serial. This is ridiculous. Dude, we were just driving through. We should get a little bit of a warning, man. Our tires popping up. You suck, ATV. <laughs> you didn't even get us to the bridge, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is crazy, too, that we're like two out of three on the sound scale. Like, we're almost as low. Oh, now we are as loud. Now we're three out of three on the sound scale. Right there, we're as loud as an ATV speeding through the landscape. So I guess it, it's not, I mean, it's loud, but it's not like it's like some new for, uh, form of loud that's just kind of scares off all creatures. It's basically just as loud as your ass hightailing it through a swamp. What's going on, gorgeous? Oh, this would suck so much ass in real life having to put a bear down like this. It would suck even more ass getting all the way out here never looking down at your ammo the entire freaking time. How is that a possible thing? How did I do that? How did you guys not do this whole time I'm marching out here? I know, okay, whatever. Well, whatever, dog. At least I could fast travel and ride my ass right back out here in two seconds with a ATV. How did that happen? How does it even... Every time I've played this game, all two times, it's fine. How the shit did that just happen? What? Oh my god, seriously? Dude, sticks are the enemy when you're in this. So now I'm sporting the charcoal black ATV, which as you can see is having a little trouble getting past these twigs in front of me. They're these tough little bitches, I swear to god. Yeah, I just navigated between them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. See, in reality, I'm just used to being able to drop this kind of thing in an ATV, unless that's like a seriously deep-rooted, thick, branched stick right there. No, I feel like anything, for the most part, should be able to get shoved. Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Look at those creatures flipping out in the distance over my ATV. That is too funny. They do not like it. You just got popped in the shoulder, dog. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He's weak. He's weak. Oh my god, what happened with that bullet? I didn't even hear a sound for it. Did I not fire? Hold still, stupid. He knows exactly how to fight his gun fire. He, is, he, he belongs in the military, man. That one must not have hit. Or is that just a dead buddy next to him? That must be what's going on here. Right? I think that's a dead- that could just be a freaking log though, man. I don't trust anything anymore. Alright, buddy. These deers just went crazy at my- What is that? You can't be firing shots that not make noise. That's the whole way I know a shot was just fired. You're violating my trust right now, sniper. What's going on over here? How have things progressed? We should show damage indication so I can show if I'm hitting him, because otherwise these deers just look generally chilling. A little spooked from the noise, but no damage done, you know? I was just wish I could confidently aim for the back of that deer's head. I've injured so many animals, I think that's a kill right there. I'm not 100% sure what's going on over there, but I'm trying to get back to that bridge. That's my top priority, getting back to that one lake, although this lake's pretty good too. But I, I sure do love a vantage point. Oh no, no, don't you swerve towards the water, don't you do it. Don't you do it, you bastard. Don't you, come on. Come on, there we go. We popped one of them and definitely injured a few others, which is actually kind of fucked up because now there's animals just like, yeah, there's a lot of blood splattered all over the place. What's going on, handsome? You beautiful creature. Shot in the stomach, gnarly. Killed him like alcohol. Well, welcome to the club, buddy. Yeah, this game is just so much freaking better when I have a, a bike pulling me around everywhere. ATVs for the win, dog. All right, dude, there's blood right there. Bleed rate very low. Shies and he's barely bleeding on me. Well, I, I mean, either that or he's PMSing heavily. That'd be a heavy PMS flow. Actually, I don't know what a heavy PMS flow for most people. Everyone clogs that stuff. We never really see any waterfalls, you know? That would kind of haunt me. I picture like that one scene in The Shining though, where all the blood comes out of the elevator. This deer stopped to take a shit. While it was bleeding out, I respect this guy. But because I respect him, I must finish him. Unless he ran all the way up that hill, in which case he's definitely earned his freedom. See the laziness, man. Laziness takes it deep, but I gotta want the kill. I gotta want, plus I injured the animal. If this was real life, I'd have to spend the rest of days hunting this creature down. Just so it doesn't slowly die from torture because I was too lame to finish the kill. No shit, I found you. Oh my god, I'm so far away from ATV, it doesn't even show it anymore. But I found you, buddy. What's going on, handsome? Oh, and the right fibula, that sucks, dude. Straight up bled from a bullet or from a leg wound. That is hardcore right there. Hey, well, I got you, you tongue tickling SOB. 
I gotta go freaking hightail it all the way back to my ATV right now, but I consider that pretty damn worth it right there. Yeah, finally. See, it's actually so much easier to play this game now that I have this vehicle dragging my lazy ass around. Look at all these points you get just for shooting a deer. You just drive around spooking deer. That's all I should do. Because eventually little, little packs of little herds of deer just spook and they all go crazy and then he just gets to it's, it's, it's cruel but unusual. Oh wait, that's bad. I know like the previous game for this, like the Hunter, whatever it was before this game, just that came out with the DLC a few months ago for a Bloodhound Dog, which I wasn't 100% sure how to use, I kind of failed with that video. But I was like, why bother to learn this game? It's the prequel, it's all about the sequel now, but now they have ATVs in this. I do not know though why they don't, I feel like dogs would be the best freaking thing. Dogs are man's best friend. Every hunter loves his dog, it's like... Dogs are, your, ugh, dogs are your buddies, they're your longtime companion. It would just be cooler if that dog, if I could have a bloodhound, that would sniff out the blood tracks and then point in the direction or something like that. As well as fetch quails for me. That kind of stuff would be awesome. Or if they could just, you could injure an animal and then like you just get a big ass one of those. What are those called? My girlfriend's brother has one. They used to, they were used to hunt wolves like in the Arctics or something like that. They're freaking huge. They look like German shepherds, but they're like 100, like 90 to 120 pounds. They're monsters. If I had two of those on me, I'd just pop a deer and then have him go chase it down and just kind of, you know, wrangle it about a bit. I imagine that would take a good amount of the hunting s- No, dude, people hunt differently all over the world. Dude, that's crazy. See, my ATV's way over there. I tailed that deer all the way up, way past that hill. Like, on the other side of that hill where that house is. That's some ridiculous tracking. You guys who play this game very frequently probably aren't, like, impressed by that or anything. But to me, that's, like, the farthest I've ever kept on something's butt to kill him. Even in first-person shooters, if someone gets, like, if someone's too far away, I'll just let him get away. As long as I get the assist, I'm happy in those situations. This, this is more work than I put into anything in, like, six years right here. And this is the hard part. These freaking marshes right here. This is when you don't know you're gonna die, but you do die. Or your ATV dies. Because it doesn't seem like that thick of water. I mean, that deep of water, but for so you just don't go through there. Hug the sides, man. Going through there is certain death. Oh, Jesus, we're still touching it! We touched the barrier. That should not be enough to explode an ATV right there. That's ridiculous, man. It, and it doesn't even just like, it just straight up explodes. Like it's just fire. Just, it just, it just like, is crazy. That shit is the most dangerous ATV on the planet right there, man. Look, I'm now miles away from the bridge. I'm even, I didn't even get remotely as far last time or this, this time. You suck. Holy shit balls, dude. This freaking bear, what are you doing, homie? Yo, I don't know who's more scared, me or the bear. Nope, definitely the bear. I right, put one in its back and it somehow glitch teleported to the ground. What the hell is going on? That was insanity, dude. Fucker came out of nowhere. <laughs> I feel so bad about this. Now there's like some little baby cubs out there who aren't getting fed tonight. This is horrible. Sometimes when you kill a creature, you kill more than just one. Oh no, you poor beautiful bastard. Oh Jesus Christ, I blew its pelvis off. That's hardcore right there. Oh my god, poor creature! They just look like giant rats when you look at their skeletal structure. Things is weird. Alright, well there you go, buddy. Welcome to the collection. We don't even eat the animal, too. That's what bothers me the most. We just kill it. But it's like, yeah, there's my trophy. Like, do you not even gonna eat that, you son of a bitch? <laughs> What's going on, little buddy? A single deer traveling way the hell over there. That dude's- oh, nope, nope. Deer's got buddies. The deer has got some friends, it would appear. The little shit is miles away from me, though. Making this a pain in the- I shouldn't even do it. Shouldn't even do it. Can I make my way across this? You're not gonna let me, are you, game? Because there's no swimming in this game, and it's probably too deep for me to go through, right? Come on, don't stop me. Let me get all the way through it. If I can cross through this, I can get those deers. Yes, I think I'm crossing. At the speed of nothing in the world, but I am crossing, man. I kind of just expected it to just explode, just just spontaneously combust into fire and flame. Because that seems to be what happens in this game whenever you go past like three feet of water. But apparently, I'm going to be alright. And I can't cross anymore. You are dildos, game. You make me get halfway out of the water and I can't, I can't cross back. I can't go anywhere. What have you done to me? Oh my god, I'm trapped in some kind of vortex. I can't- I literally can't travel any direction whatsoever. This is- god, god damn it, I knew this water would backfire. Water is hell in this game. Oh my god. Well, all in all, this would be a pretty good place to hunt right in the middle of a drinking spot if I could move! 
All right, all in all though, I freaking love the ATV. It makes this game a thousand times more playable for me because now I could just kind of drive anywhere at once. I don't have to worry about anything else. I suppose I could fast travel to other locations, but this pretty much is just like the most definitive way to get around. I freaking love it. I do wish it didn't explode the second it touched water, but see, I don't know, man, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it, but at least it could do this, which is honestly much better. This will keep you entertained for days right here. Driving through water, that shit gets boring. So yeah, if you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Yeah.